tea with tea. My hey. girl tea. What's up? Damn, you always got some tea. What up? What up today? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I am going to be very gentle. Because I'm kind of rough sometimes. I can be. <laughs> Please, let's be gentle today. It's in here. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Take a deep let me, breath. Let me, take, let me sip my water. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay. I love helping others. Mm -hmm. I believe that if you are put in a position that you can bless others, why not be a blessing? Why not help people who need it, especially when you can do it? And when you see a loved one, a family member, just someone in need, help that person. Mm -hmm. But here's the shit. (laughs) The gentleman out the door. (laughs) <laughs> that I am sick and tired of. Okay. Mm-hmm. I am not your fucking bank. Mm-hmm. I am not your ATM. I am not your person who's supposed to take care of you. I don't mind helping you, but I stop consistently asking me for things. Like we were just, I was just saying the other day how I have a cousin who goes, he has, well, he, has family who works for American Airlines. So he gets like buddy passes. So he's always so Philly, it's a Philly shit already. Wait. But, <laughs> but he's always getting buddy passes and flying somewhere. This is Philly. And then he, he texts me because you know what the thing about buddy passes. So for those of you who are not familiar, if someone works for the airlines, they can get you pretty much a standby type of ticket. So if there's room on a flight, you get to fly. And it's a very, you know, so for my cousin, he gets to do that for free because he has so yeah. many people who work, work like for the his, airline. Yeah, cousin like his, Philly, everybody works his, for the airline. His mm-hmm. mother, his cousin, <laughs> everybody, his father, friend, sister, brother, mother, yes. everyone. And then your times when you get buddy passes, you pay like just like maybe $8. You pay the taxes or something like right. something. It's yeah. super, it's super inexpensive opposed to like $500. You may pay, you may pay $80. But the problem is, if the flight is oversold, you're not getting on. So you got to keep waiting for the next flight to get on. Right. So he'll go somewhere. But the problem with buddy tickets is getting out because <laughs> if the flight keeps being oversold, if you go to a popular <laughs> city, then nine times chances out of 10, are you're not going to get you're gonna get stuck. So I have this cousin who, and I love you, but I'm sick and tired of your ass. And he saw me at my mom's uh, barbecue over the weekend and just went the other way and left. Like, <laughs> look, I don't care, boo, if you're mad at me because this is like the 10th time where you're stuck in a city and you're like, hey, cousin, I'm stuck. Can you send me $200? No. But like, how I'm- can somebody give you that energy when you've been helping them and you have nothing to do with their trips and they over here giving you shade? Mad. Then I have, wait, no, it gets better. Then I have an uncle who I've paid his rent a few times because he's like, I'm stuck and you know, he helped me pay my rent. I'm like, yeah. you know, had an eviction notice. And I'm like, look, let me help my uncle. I think I made have paid his rent for three months. Like, let me get you out the hole. I'm going to pay for your, your, your rent a few additional months, but I'm going to need you to take it seriously and get a job yeah. because the buck stops here. Like you yeah. have to want to help yourself. I'm not going to take care of a 55 year old grown ass man. Yeah. Like you need to work and yeah. stop thinking that you can just fall back and I'm going to take care of you. Yeah. So did this a few times, paid his rent. Then he he sees me at my mom's birthday. Like they, my mom's birthday party was on and popping. It was lit. So it was lit. He, he runs into me at my mom's birthday party. Like, hey, I'm like, and I'm sorry, those of you who you know, it's gonna be a little graphic. So put your you know, turn us off for ten seconds and then come back. So he told me that the reason why he could not pay his rent. <laughs> Was because. Oh God. Wait, <laughs> are you going to share this? Do not share this. <laughs> I'm sharing it. I'm authentic. I'm transparent. It's coming. He told me that the reason why he couldn't pay his rent is because he didn't have any skin on his testicles or his penis. Random. Out of, no- out of nowhere. <laughs> he told me this at my mom's barbecue. This ain't tea. I don't know what this <laughs> is. <laughs> Oh, no. I said, what the f-? Okay. What does I'm, that have? Okay. Okay. So serious on a serious note. What does that have to do with? I, I think he was trying to <laughs> tell, I think he was trying to tell me that that's why he couldn't work 
because he does a lot of like manual work, like maybe cut someone's grass or paint or do something. I think because he has a very <laughs> labor intensive job, I guess mm-hmm. he was trying to explain to me why he couldn't. So mm-hmm. I go back to the table and I'm sitting across Brother Bahama. I'm like, he's like, he asking you for money. I'm like, yeah. He's like, I said, yeah, but you're never going to believe what he said was wrong. Oh, he's like, what? Don't say it again. Don't say it again. I don't he, say it again. He don't said he did have any skin. Don't on say his it again. Testicles or his penis. <laughs> and Brother Muhammad's like, standing up. That's not a lie. That's not a lie. <laughs> Boo, calm down. I talked to him. I got this under control. He's like, that's not a lie. He can't be taking and saying stuff like that's ridiculous. I'm like, yes. But then it comes to find out, he start. I say no. And he starts talking trash about me to my family. Like, oh, she's getting too big for herself. You know, oh, she, see, she, that's the now tea. she can't want to help, you know, who she thinks she is. She, you know, she thinks she's bigger than the family now because she don't want to help me. And that's what family is supposed to do. Stop right there, Uncle Darnell Hopkins. <laughs> that is not what family is supposed to do. <laughs> family is not supposed to take care of your grown ass, okay? <laughs> so stop talking shit about me behind my back and telling the family that I don't want to help people. I'm not going to keep continuously paying your rent for you. That's not what I'm going to do. You have to be grown, keep a job, and stop lying about your mans. That's the G. Anything else? <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It's very upsetting. And I want to help people. But when it gets to the point where there's an expectation, then that's different. I mean, does that ever happen? Does people expect you to help them all the time? Anyone in your life ever? Absolutely. 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 It's happened many times. And what I do is I, I'll say things like the first time I'm always gung ho. I'm always like, I got you $200. Boom. Got you. Feel good yes. about myself. Yeah. Feel glad that I'm in a position to help. Boom. Right. Yeah. Second time I'm like, I need to be paid back immediately. <laughs> but then I'm also like, if you're borrowing like $50, like, so then I'll say like, I'll give you it this time, but next time, like, and then the next time it's like, no. I think that you're either taking advantage or like, you know, it'll be a conversation that I do no not want to have. No one likes to feel that way. Yeah, yeah. I do not want to have. It's hurtful. Yeah. Yeah, it's hurtful when I also had a friend who's was taking gambling advantage a lot of too. And I'm like, oh. no, yeah, no. Like, I can't help because it's not going towards anything productive. So yeah. other than that, yeah. So I do I do know what you mean. Um, yeah. And it gets to, a to start place... talking about somebody behind their back is kind of sad. Yeah. And you know what? Because I've helped you so much, I think, you know, I'm I'm joking and I'm per- using profanity just for shock value. And it's funny. But at the same <laughs> time, it's hurtful as hell. You know, yeah. like it's it's very hurtful because I'm trying to help you out the kindness of my heart because I want to see you do well. I don't want to see you not being able to have a home. I don't want to see you homeless. Like if I can help someone, why not? You know, and I want what's best for you. But at the same time, you have to want what's best for yourself. And you can't expect someone to just do everything for you without you taking any initiative to get a job. In fact, um, my mom tried to help my uncle get a job and then he didn't show up for his interview or didn't do things he was supposed to do. And her sister my aunt try to help him and he didn't do what he's supposed to do. It's like, you know what, at some point you're going to have to make the decision that you're going to have to say, okay, I got to get my life together because I can't expect people to just take it, take care of me. And when you start using your family as a crutch um, and as like your kind of little security blanket to constantly do things for you, then at some point, like that well is going to run dry and you're going to have to want to stand up for yourself to do more. You know, I don't want to go into my whole single parent thing, but there was a time for a long time that I had to live paycheck to paycheck. You couldn't go to anybody. And I couldn't, I didn't have, like, no one had it to give to me. Yep. And I had to go without a lot. You know, like I had to buy the basic necessities for us to be able to eat. And I couldn't do a lot of things that I wanted to do because I just didn't have it. There were times when I had to work two jobs and go to school and take care of a kid. 
but I had to do what I had to do to get things done. So if I can work hard to do what I have to do, you can too. You don't even have any children, like get yourself together. And it's hurtful for me to, to feel this. Like I just feel hurt because I naturally want to help people and I want to give. But when you start to take advantage of me, it puts me, that's when I take the gloves off and I talk about you on my podcast. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> and that's the tea. With tea. Bye. <laughs>